Hello Internet, this is our Technicolor Hypnodisc thing. Uh, we built this two and a half years ago on the channel, and it's built on Shader Toy and is sort of just demonstrating some like really basic shader stuff. Um, there's a video on this from two and a half years ago now, and I'm kind of in the process of rebuilding my website. I should probably start there. Um, and what I want to be able to do is embed shaders from Shader Toy onto the website. Um, I've built a website before, was really happy with it, but also it's really annoying and hard to keep up to date. So I'm updating it. <laughs> um, and by updating, I mean completely rebuilding again, uh, because that just seems to be how uh, projects like that happen to go. Um, so we want to embed this, and I'm using a, a project called Hugo. Hugo is a static website generator. And what that means is you give it a bunch of markdown files and a theme, and then it's going to go and take that theme and run it through your markdown and generate a bunch of static pages for you. So in this case, I get something like this. Um, and so this would be the page that I would want to embed the thing in. And as you might be able to tell, I've already written the thing to embed this. Uh, so we're going to do it again um, because I was just kind of exploring with this over the weekend. And it turns out this is actually surprisingly easy. Um, and so here is basically the page. Uh, and if we go and actually look at the code for this, here is how I'm doing the embed. It's a thing called short codes. And then if I go and look through the content here, we want the hypnodisc. And so here's a bunch, the way Hugo works is this first part is a bunch of metadata. These uh, three dashes actually separate pages uh, in this format. This is not really markdown, but it's, it's markdown. Um, and so this is like metadata, the title, the description, when it was published, things like that. Um, and then everything under that, so everything down here, is going to be actual content. And so there's a few things going on here. We have this shader thing in brackets. That's a short code. We also have another one for a YouTube video. And so they're doing different things uh, and effectively just kind of making it a lot easier to embed specific types of content into your, your blog or your website or whatever you're doing. In this case, um, the theme that I'm using has shipped with a number of short codes. Um, I'm using the ZZO theme with a bunch of tweaks to it. We can actually go and check out all of these extra short codes by going into layouts and short codes. Um, and so there's one for alerts, one for boxes, I don't know what that is, one for colors, um, expands, images, and notices. I've used none of these, so I don't know what any of them do. Um, but we can effectively copy this and do do our own. Um, and so we need to plop whatever short codes we want into this layouts, short codes, and then the name of the short code.html. And effectively what this is doing, if we look at the script that I have, it's just HTML. Um, and then there's some extra fancy stuff. Um, so in this case, we have our iframe and we're embedding some shader toy stuff. Um, to actually show you what's going on here, if we go back to the shader toy thing, if you this is the view uh, page, but if we change that view to embed, now we get the full screen version. This is the embedded version of what we were doing. So there's no code here anymore, um, but we get the whole thing in full screen, um, which is exactly what we want. That's what we want to embed. And so if we go back here, we effectively want this. Um, so I have the double slash here. That's actually meaning if you're on an HTTP website, it's just going to use HTTP. If you're using HTTPS, it's going to use that, effectively using whatever makes sense. All of this other stuff we can kind of ignore for now, and that should be pretty much it. So let's just do new, um, let's just call it shadertoy.html. And so we want uh, an iframe with a source equal to uh, this. And now uh, I'm doing that iframe wrong. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and so this is just our, our basic HTML. Uh, and it compiles and is, is fine. Uh, we might even be able to reference this. But you might notice there's this weird double bracket dot thing. Um, and that is because in this shader, we were actually using this with keyword. And so what that's doing is saying with this parameter of type ID, do this whatever is inside of this bracket. So in this case, this entire iframe is within that. Uh, and so anything inside of there, like that, that, that double curly bracket that we have, is going to be a replacement. 
And so what ends up happening is that entire bit gets replaced with our ID. Uh, and so in this case, we could, we, we're using ID to, just to do that, but we can actually plop in whatever we want. So with, uh, I forget the syntax for this, with dot get. Uh, and so dot get is a, a function that is in all of these um, short codes. And so we can call this whatever we want. Let's call it the shader toy ID. Super long, but uh, it's something different than what we had previously, so should be kind of handy. And then we need to end it. Uh, and this is if you're familiar with like basic, you have um, your if and then you have your end if to kind of signal the end of whatever. Um, or more probably more people are familiar with like bash, which does this as well. Um, and so we've effectively just created a block here with the iframe inside of it. And we should probably give it a height so it actually should show up. So let's do 500 pixels. Why not? And so that should be everything that we need. We're going to effectively pass in the shader toy ID to this iframe and replace this part of our link with the ID that we give it. And so if I go back to where is my content here? If I go back, not that one. Uh, we'll get there eventually. There we go. <laughs> so here's here's what I'm using right now. So we can just copy this ID and we're going to put it right below the other one. Uh, we should get different styling because I, I haven't applied the styles from my previous one. We, we don't have like the, the glow behind it, for example. Um, but we should be able to do shader toy with a shader toy ID. And now it's going to underline it because it doesn't actually know what that word is. Um, but you can see we just recompiled there. And if I go here, we now have our embedded thing. And so this uh, clearly doesn't look as good as this one because uh, it's it's dot, uh, but it's 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 doing the iframe thing, and that's sort of what we wanted it to do. Um, so if we we can change pretty much anything we want about this, in this case, one thing we definitely want is a width of one hundred percent. That's going to cause it to fill our our frame. There we go. Uh, and now we've effectively created this embed uh, in probably the simplest way we could. It's it's three lines, um, and it means that we can embed one line of text anywhere within our writing, and we will get an embedded shader. Uh, and we can do this for anything we want. If we want to embed something else, like let's do a bold.html. Um, this is going to be weird, but we can do like with .get. Oh, that's all right with git um, and we want I think I've got this yeah uh, text sure like this uh, we want to end this and now I'm not an expert at HTML which is partially why I'm doing this generated content um, because uh, there's a lot of like things that I don't know. Um, but we can use the strong tag. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this is one way to do this. Uh, we could do this with styles as well, but in this case, we can just use the strong tag. Um, and this we want to just embed our text. So we're just gonna do that. I've never tried this, so this is <laughs> this might actually not work, um, but I think it should. We're doing all the same stuff, so uh, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, which usually means it's going to blow up in my face. That's fine. Um, so we'll do the syntax. It's two curly brackets and then the angle brackets. And then we want to do bold with text equal to hello world. Why not? So we do that. We save. You can see it, re it rewrites it and saves it. And then we go back here and we have a bold hello world in our in our thing. Uh, so this kind of gives you a really handy way if, whether you want to do really fancy things or you want to be really boring and just bold text. This can be done um, with Markdown. So there's, you, there's actually no reason to do this, um, the bold thing, but I'm just kind of trying to give an example that isn't in iframe. Um, pretty much however you want to inject fancy HTML into your stuff, this is a way to do that. Uh, and for me, being able to embed shaders makes a lot of sense because we do a lot of things with shaders and this way 
I can embed live examples of the code that we're doing in there, as long as they compile with Shader Toy, which um, Unity shaders don't. But <laughs> in this case, this example does work. And so we can actually like play this on, on my website instead of having to go out to Shader Toy. Um, and then if you want to actually go there, that does all the normal iframe things. So this links directly to it and you can go and modify this to do whatever you want. Um, so let's, sure, let's change that. Why not? There, now, now we have more spiral. <laughs> um, so, so you can kind of use this to, to tweak your website to whatever you want, or if there's features that your theme doesn't have or whatever, um, that's the way to do it. So uh, just to recap there, all we need to do is in this case, everything in my in my site is under this web directory. And so if I go into web, there is a layouts directory. Um, now layouts gets collapsed because there's nothing actually in it. There's just a single directory in it called short codes. And that actually has everything in there. Um, and so part of the way Hugo works is if you have themes installed, those get applied in like a stacking order. Um, so your theme is going to get applied and then you, all the other stuff that you've applied is going to get put on top. Um, so in this case, you could actually override um, specific short codes from your theme. Um, but also, it means that all of the short codes from your theme are going to be in the same place, just in your themes folder. So in this case, I've installed the ZZO theme. So it's in themes slash ZZO. And then we go into the same place, so layouts, short codes, and then all of the all of the examples are here. Uh, and so that gives us sort of a handy way to do that. They're doing more advanced stuff. I've not tried any of this, um, but there is documentation on this. So you can actually end up out here. We were using this pretty much, this width, uh, and then the period. But there's, a, there's actually a lot more options that you have if you want to get more advanced like do ifs or um, more advanced formatting or things like that. Um, it, for, for me, I just needed the basic example and so it just worked. Um, but depending on what you need, go for it. Um, but I, th I think that's it. I think that's pretty much everything we need. Um, so I'll leave it here. Uh, if, you ended up if you end up using this in your own blog or whatever, um, feel free to share it. Um, the cool thing is because all of this is uh, just like a single HTML file. It's really easy to like share or find other people's um, short codes. And so you can actually share them and then other people that need them can pull them into their own blogs or their own websites or whatever they're using them for. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. So yeah, I think, I think I'm done. <laughs> so I guess that's it. Uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> see you internet.